each year we celebrate molding. Now this is not the mold that digs little tunnels under the grass in your yard and messes up your yard. This is not the mold that you get on your skin. Now this is the mold that allows us to do all those neat conversions between measurements and chemistry, between grams and volume of a gas, and between concentration of a solution. And in this class, you're required to do a mold day project. This video is about how to get that done. So, mold day is October the 23rd. Okay? Some years we celebrate mold day on a different day only because it falls on a weekend. Sometimes the 23rd falls on a weekend. But this year, it's October 23rd is when we're going to do it in this class. Okay? Alright, so, now if you're listening to this video and it happens to fall on a weekend, it's a different day. But, you know. Right now, for this year, when I'm recording this, it's October 23rd. Why is it October 23rd? <laughs> because it's Thursday. No, it's not because it's Thursday. It's not because of Halloween. Okay. Huh? What is a mole, guys? Huh? It's a unit. Okay, it's a unit of measurement. And it, it actually is equal to a lot of different things. Okay. One of the things it's equal to is Avogadro's number. You need to know this. Avogadro's number. And we've done this before. We talked about this in Unit 1. We said that 6.02, and sometimes there's another 2 here, so it really goes to 6.022. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power of any kind of particle... Any kind of discrete thing, okay? Is equal to one mole of those particles. Okay? So if I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water, what do I have? I have a mole of water. Okay, if I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd electrons, what do I have? Come on, you guys can see this. You know what this is. I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd electrons. How many do I have? What do I have? A mole of electrons. If I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd moles, the little brown things that you know dig in the ground, mess up your yard, what do I have? A mole of moles. Okay? All right. <clears throat> what what day is mole day? What month is that? Which is the number 10. What day? You see a relationship? Okay. And it actually starts not at midnight, but at 6.02 a.m. and lasts until 6.02 p.m. Well, that depends. <clears throat> that depends because historically a day could be just the daylight hours, which is a 12, like 12, 12 hour period. Okay? And the night would be, or a night would be a 12 hour period. Okay? So it depends. I mean, today we think of it as being 24 hours. But in reality, you know, in, in, in most cultures, you know, agricultural and that sort of thing, they don't really think about it being, you know, a whole 24 hour period. They might start their days at midnight, or they might start their days at sunset, or they might start their days at sunrise. And different cultures in the past have done that. Now, let's go to what you're supposed to do for this class. And we're going to go to um, mole presentation. Okay. <clears throat> now what this is, is Google's version of PowerPoint. Okay. And pretty much you got, it tells you what to do here, guys. I, I don't want to see those questions. I want you to replace the question with the answer. Okay. Got it? And it tells it pretty much tells you what to do. But just in case anybody's confused, let's look here. Here's one. Here's a document that says Molde presentation and the requirements. Okay. 
Ah, there are all the requirements. So, you know, you can read this stuff. So make sure you go there and you read that. We're going to make that your homework. Don't wait till October 22nd, okay, at 9 p.m. And then send me some email asking me a question. Uh, shouldn't be how you're rolling here. Okay, everything's here for you. You know, it's all on you. You just got to get it done. Okay? Okay.